Podcast. What's up, combies? I'm Hannah. And I'm Olivia. And it's time to kombucha. Woo! Kind of a crazy episode this week. Yes, it is. We are closing out season one, batch one of kombucha. And taking you on a little trip down memory lane. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so when we started the podcast, we had planned to kind of do series in batches. Olivia's genius idea. And this was our season one kombucha, kombucha batch. Try saying that 10 times fast. (laughs) challenge <laughs> that's our tiktok challenge <laughs> that should be our tiktok challenge hey so yeah we are closing out this batch with a little recap and look back at what the season's been some of our guests some of our topics uh and then you know maybe give you a little opportunity to tell us what you'd like to see for batch two season two of kombucha Uh, when we decide to pick things up again. It felt like the right time for us to make this move because it's summer, baby. Ooh, ooh, that sunshine is calling me, not this ring light. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're ready to be poolside. We're ready to be plainside, traveling around. We've got a lot of plans, and so it's time to wrap this up. So let's take that little memory lane trip and kind of look back. You know, uh, episode one, we did a little intro. You got to know us. Wow. Remember when we were strangers and now we're all best friends? I love that for us. (laughs) Me too. And we actually dropped kombucha towards the beginning of 2021 when a lot of things were still in lockdown and... Wow, what what a ways we have come. Our, you know, second episode was all about resolutions, how to keep them, intention setting practices. Do you remember your resolutions? <laughs> Combies. <Whoa. laughs> yeah, maybe we should touch on how we've done with them. I know like I had like breath work, reading more, red light, skincare. I've been keeping up with all of those. What, what were some of yours? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I've done good for myself. I know my word was immerse. Oh, yeah. My word of the year. Um, and I feel like I've done a pretty good job of that, and I'm about to do more of it, immersing myself back into my L.A. lifestyle. Ooh. Heading there. So, yeah, you know, I guess I better re-listen to that. <laughs> We got to go back ourselves on that one, (laughs) combies. Um, Yeah, then we kind of dug into why you're vegan, why I'm not in episode three. Talked a lot about eating, diet, making changes that feel good for you and your body and not being prescriptive to what anyone else thinks. Definitely. And heading into summer month, summer body, everybody is a summer body That cannot be emphasized enough. Continue to thrive in these warm months. Yeah, still still on that same track. I have been doing a lot of plant-based meals recently. I actually got a Beyond Meat ground beef to try for some beef tacos this weekend. I thought you would want to know. I do want to know, and please tell me how that goes. Yeah, I'll put it up on the gram. Oh, man. Keep everyone informed. Speaking of summer bodies, though, episode four was really fun. We talked about, like, finding your fitness routine. I think I can say I've done pretty well on what we talked about there. I want to say that I was doing a lot of my workouts in the afternoon at that time, and I've now moved them to the morning. First thing okay. like you. Yeah, I my walks have definitely gotten even earlier in the morning, I would mm-hmm. say, because it has been so hot here. Um, and it's so light out now. And it is. It is. It's so nice to just wake up to mm-hmm. that crisp 
bird chirping morning. Speaking of which, there was this crazy little sick bird in our yard. It turns out it was just a little birdling. What are those called? What are the baby ones? Baby birds. <laughs> and uh, it, does it, it have a name? It had not yet developed a fear of humans. I got about three inches from it. Side note. <laughs> 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 little baby bird uh yeah episode five we dug into self-care mm. yeah a deep just let out that sigh for that mm. episode that feels like a good way to recap it it's a good one it is self-care it's just it's blown up with the pandemic and just remember to keep it in your routines as you start getting back out there this summer. And I've even added to mine a little bit, you know, so it's continued to change for me, but always in a good way. What have you added? Um, I've added a daily meditation and I've also added a daily five minute pickup where I set a timer for five minutes and just clean my room for only five minutes. Ooh, time blocking. Yeah, it was from a book you lent me. Uh, speaking of morning and night routines, that's another one we dug into episode six. Definitely have been keeping that going full force. Trying to think if I've added anything new. Oh, I just got this ice mask that I absolutely love. I saw this on your story. Yeah, it goes over your eyes. Honestly, a, a big part of your forehead and like lower cheek area. Freaking fabulous. I've been trying to use that morning or night just to like help with keeping your skin tight and not having any puffing. Uh, And it's just like really relaxing. So definitely recommend adding that to your morning or night routine if you're open to it. Episode seven. Aw, sign of the COVID times. How to throw a bang in virtual party. Oh my gosh. Wow, just listen to that for nostalgia, not for tips. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, unless you're, you know, doing something with friends around the globe, these are about to fade to the to the black, I think. I think so too. But I'm good with it. Yep. I'm ready for those real parties now. Woohoo! Yeah. Episode eight, we dug into boundaries, balance, and bosses. What a great one, especially for now, as everybody does start to have more of a social life and just a life outside of being glued remotely to their computer and working for a ridiculous amount of hours all day because you have nothing else to do. No. You can't <laughs> just no. do it. You can't do it anymore. You got to get get back out there. Set some boundaries. Maybe uh, some new ones if you're back in the office. Yeah, absolutely. Set a schedule. Make this work for you. Episode 9, imposter syndrome. What it is and what to do about it. <sighs> wow. Honestly, I'm still struggling with that one. On and off. It's on and off for me, folks. I get some kind of new cool opportunity. I dive in. I'm like, I got this for like a day. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, should I be doing this? Am I, am I good enough to be doing this? And the answer it's a is battle. yes. The answer is <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> uh, it's a battle. So if you struggle with this, I sympathize. It is just not something that goes away easily. Take some work, but you can build yourself up. Episode 10, how to pivot your career. Summer's a great time to make a change. If you're in a slump from work. (laughs) New word I hate. There's there's a good mouth noise for our audio editor. Yeah, how to pivot your career, though. I think that's a, that was a fun one for me, Mm -hmm. especially as having... Being someone who has done that many times. Well, not many, but a few. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, (laughs) I felt like that was a fun one. Yeah, definitely. And that was actually our last one before guests. Yeah, then we had our first guest. Yeah, Brian Rogers, MMA extraordinaire, former fighter, turned marketing and advertising executive. Went over some really great competitive entrepreneurial tips with us. 
uh, which is really just kind of a fun episode. He even brought a kombucha to review. He stands as our only guest who has <laughs> been that level of dedication. So we appreciate you, Brian. And since then, I've had the fun opportunity of meeting him in person. So That's that right. was great. Yeah, such a good time. Episode 12, The Art of Drag, Life as a Queen in Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite episodes. Honestly, same. Best dressed guests. Absolutely. I just loved them. Me too. And I think you'd mentioned that they were putting Summer Movie Fridays. Monster Movie Fridays. Sorry, I'm Summer on the Brain. Monster Movie Fridays on pause for the summer. Yeah, I think they're coming back in, like, September, so definitely look out for that uh, premiere. Episode 13, The Implications of Fast Fashion and How to Make More Sustainable Choices. Oh, this was a great one. Ashley was such a knowledgeable guest. 100%. Really gave us some great tips. I'm happy to say I have recently bought a couple of vintage uh, bags that I love amazing yeah so definitely you know took a lot of what she said to heart avoiding fast fashion choices and have figured out how to like add some sustainability into my own and that was a really fun one Uh, episode 14 was with yasmin sahid on becoming an influencer tiktok instagram music and more and oh my gosh she has blown up she's almost at a hundred thousand followers on instagram at the and time of this. I forget how many on TikTok it was. Oh, like. I have no idea. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah. Was it she a has I Yeah, I want to say it's over. She has yeah. a really good couple new threads of characters um that you all should check out. Loving that, but that was a really fun one. I think she posted something recently like if I get to this many on each account, I'm quitting my job and I was like, "Yes, pivoting, doing what you love." <laughs> I'm excited for her. Episode 15 was getting good with yourself. Therapy, life, and love with Blake Kevin Dwyer. Blake, such a good guest, such a good human. Excellent episode. I just feel like the value he gave in that short episode is (sighs) invaluable. Honestly, I think that episode is one that I personally will go back to at different points in my life. Um, It really is so important. And he did such a good job of explaining, having the knowledge, but also just making you feel very, like, welcomed to explore options for therapy, which I think is important. He made it feel approachable. Uh, Episode 16, Finding Your Mindset for Returning to Normal Life, and that was with our guest, Marco Macaluso. That one was calming. I I know. He should really do a guided meditation. He should. His voice and just his vibe is just like, it brings you from here just... Down. And I have used his taking inventory method of writing things down that are valuable to you and mm-hmm. seeing where you're prioritizing your time. I have used that since the episode and also checking in with myself when I'm starting to feel a little nervous in situations. Doing Ooh, that yeah. body scan. That body scan was a great one. Mm-hmm. The 80-20 thing was like the biggest takeaway for me where it was just like... of your day just is not planned. Like, you can try to plan it, but it's not. I. It's just that hit me different. I was going to go to the pool today, and I just found out I have to reorganize my closet. (laughs) (laughs) So that's a completely different day. Yeah, see? It just, you can't wake up and plan too much. You can't be too hung up on structuring a schedule. You just got to accept that the universe is going to impart some unseen things into your into your everyday vibe episode 17 was working from home staying in and staying busy i think that was uh one of our solo eps yeah yeah it was and uh kind of discussing hybrid systems working from home productivity communication 
all that good stuff with making sure you're staying productive and happy. Uh, episode 18, moving. New season, new start, an actual new home for you. Ah. Yeah, it's that time, folks. Lots of change in the air, I think, for a lot of people right now. Just getting back to a different life. I had like four or five friends tweeting this week, I'll be back in LA in three months. I'll be back in LA in three weeks. I'm like, yes, everyone. People are moving. Start moving. Uh, And then just the last episode before this was an astrology episode, actually. So fun. Our guest, Rowan Oliver, was amazing. So insightful. Went over horoscopes, our chart readings, just a ton of really cool information. And and even if you're not someone who really subscribes or, like, quote-unquote believes in that... It was just really interesting to hear their perspective and how they have come to the style of readings that they do, a little bit of the history of this. I just, I was fascinated by their explanations on things. I I found it really interesting and, and just kind of fun. Yeah, it is. It's a fun one. It's good if you just want um, like a little dash of astrology to kind of hear about. But I think it's also a good starting off point um, if you're wanting to dive a little bit deeper or even have a reading with them. Yeah. And there is a giveaway on a couple of their posts. So a couple of our posts, I should say, on the gram. So Feel free to check those out or use the code in episode 19 show notes for a little discount from Rowan on your own reading. Woo woo for the whole month of July. And that brings us to now. Wow. Episode 20, batch one season finale, baby. Ow, ow. We have covered a lot of ground. We have spoken with a lot of wonderful people. And we have drank in drank we have drunk we have consumed a lot of kombucha (laughs) we sure have and we will continue to bring you fun reviews and episodes with batch two feel free to let us know wherever you subscribe um let us know on instagram what you'd like to hear next we are taking requests for topics guests all the above And if you feel like you would be a great guest on Kombucha, please feel free to pitch yourself. We love you. Well, I think that wraps our season one, batch one of Kombucha. Anything else you want to add? I'm just crying a couple tears of Kombucha. (laughs) Yeah, it's been a fun one. We've had a blast. And we'll be back. We'll be back, and best ways to keep in touch with us are on Instagram. Uh, I'm at Blonde on the Run. I'm at Olivia. So make sure to connect with us. We want to hear from you. We probably won't be posting on our regular accounts for Kombucha quite as much, but you can definitely connect with us on our regular Instagrams, and we'll be there all summer long. <laughs> All right, should we get into a season finale of Sweet or Spicy? Ah, yes. What should we do today? I think we need to leave them with leave them with a little spice in their ears. Let's leave them with a little spice. What you got, girl? If you were having a comedy roast and you could pick five celebrities, friends, family, whoever to roast you. Who would you have do it? This will be aired on live TV. Gosh. <laughs> Just to heighten the stakes. Whew, that's a tough one. I mean, actually, I think my friend Brian would be excellent at doing this to me. (laughs) Okay. Love it. (laughs) (laughs) So I would definitely have you go up your little comedic star and know me extremely well. When it came to professional comics, 
I mean, I love Theo Vaughn. I think he's, like, rather hilarious. I thought he'd be on yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would do a really good job at roasting someone. Tony Hinchcliffe is another comedian who's kind of really an excellent roaster and would probably tear anyone to shreds. Wow. So I'd be... I'd be slightly terrified of, of making that choice, but <laughs> he's kind of a pro, so. Love it. I'd probably go for it. And then I think for my last choices, I would probably do Nikki Glaser or Whitney Cummings. They're both absolutely hilarious comics. And, uh, you know, every time I, like, listen to an interview that they do, like, on Joe Rogan or something, I'm just cracking up. They have such a fun sense of humor. Both of them very different styles, but just very hilarious. So that would probably be my stack. Okay, that's fresh. What about you? Okay, well, since I've had a little more time to think since you went first, I feel like I'm prepared. I would have my friend Kaylee Dwight... <laughs> Yes. That girl knows me, and she and I have very similar sense of humor. I think for a curveball, I would also have our brother, Jacob. Mm -hmm. He is witty, he is quick, and I would truly be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he's going to throw out there. No, he is funny. Okay, then I think I would also do like a three celeb Two I know, three celeb kind of thing. Um, I would like to have Pete Davidson. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. That would be fun. Um, I think I'd also do Kate McKinnon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd be yeah. Very interested to see what she could come up with, especially with her characters. And then this one may be a curveball as well, because I don't think he's done anything like this, but... The Hot Ones host, Sean Evans, the way he can be so precise and dig deep with his interview questions, I feel like he could do the same in a roast. He'd go deep on it. Oof, he'd research some things you didn't want to be roasted for. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's time for another kombucha review. Uh, today's kind of fun because we picked up another one that was recommended by one of the combis, Chavane. Chavane, shout out. Yes. Uh, it is Hum brand, H-U-M-M. -M. Which we have reviewed a couple episodes back. Did he also tell us about that one? I can't remember that? which flavor coconut lime was. Yeah, I can't remember which one he sent to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. Uh, so, Hum, that's the female-owned, organ-based. And this one is blueberry mint. Not something I would be like, those go together. I would not think of this. It yeah. looks cute. The yeah. label is kind of a periwinkle color. Mm-hmm. Their their branding's always really cute. They do all these little animations and stuff, and there's always, like, peace signs and yin yangs, and it's just kind of adorable. Yeah, super cute. So, hum, blueberry mint, and what is the sugar? Oh, it's pretty low, seven grams, and zero grams are added, so all natty. And, you know, it does say on the bottle, tastes great, less sugar. Oh. Wow. So I don't know if that's this flavor or this brand. That's something that we will have to look into, but that's really nice because this is half of what a lot of kombuchas are. This might be the lowest sugar I've seen that yeah. I remember. Rowdy Mermaid has some low ones too. Okay. This is definitely on the list of low. So that's really nice. Some vitamin B12 for all my vegans. Oh, cool. Yeah, they do have that added. Kind of a cool twist. Twist are open. Okay. These are those long neck bottles that you like. I think they're cool. <laughs> oh. Smells great. It does. Smells like a blueberry pie. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love those. 
Oh, it smells good. Or wait, is it blueberry pie or grape pie that I like? I think you like grape pie. Okay. <laughs> but I've had blueberry pie and I would say it's equally great. <laughs> okay. You know blueberry pop tarts? Yes. That's this in a liquid smell. Okay. Which is just blueberry once again, but specifically it's drawing me into the pop tart. Maybe it's a little sugary smelling. Mm -hmm. it's very I think sweet. So. It's um like almost purpley. Yeah, like purpley pinky. Yeah. And pretty clear though, honestly. Mm hmm Low fizz. Let's do it. Oh, that's yeah. good. Oh, I actually really like this one. I feel like the blueberry hits first and you're left with a very refreshing little mint in the after at the back of your tongue. I would agree with that. I forgot what the second flavor was for a minute. Mm-hmm. I like it's that. It's a hint of mint. Oh, Ryman. Yeah. <laughs> hint of mint. Very light. It's this is pretty good. This is really good one. Yeah, and it does taste, I mean, I know that it has just the natural sugar in it, it does taste pretty natural. Nothing tastes artificial in here. No, while me. it may smell a bit like a Pop-Tart, it does not taste like one at all. Not at all. Super natural, just very light. I yeah, don't know. This is good. Yeah, I'd go 4.5 on this. I really like it. I think I would do that as well. Yeah, their branding's always adorable. This particular flavor is very refreshing and sweet without being overpowering and just good. I don't know why I sound so shocked, but <laughs> I do. My voice keeps going up higher, but <laughs> it is really good. Yeah, so you heard it here. Thanks, Chauvain. Thanks, Chauvain. Hum. Hum. Blueberry Mint. Special thanks to Gold Threads Audio for music and audio production. Check out goldthreadsaudio.com for all your podcast music and sound needs. This has been an On The Run Media production. All reviews are strictly independent opinions of our hosts and guests. Make sure to like, review, comment, and subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And let us know your favorite part of the episode in the comments and on Instagram. I'm at Blonde on the Run. I'm at Olivia. We'll see you next time, combies.